Hey there, how are you doing? This is Kali from Tech Fancies. So in this video, we can take an in-depth look at latest Pixel Experience Plus Android 12 on this Redmi Note 11. I have been using this for past few weeks, so here are my thoughts. First, we'll start with the build details. This is the latest Pixel Experience Plus version 12 with the 5th April 2022 security patch update. Compiled by phones, compiled with all the latest uh, fusions patches, which are of version 4.1.2. The kernel version is 4.19 and the build date is 12.4.2022, running on top of the latest Android 12. The boot animation is the minimal Google logo, like every other Pixel Experience ROM, which I like the most. Features in terms of features we don't have any dedicated menu in settings but it has all the necessary features like a network monitor indicator along with the phs triple option that can fix multiple issues i made a dedicated video on fixing those you can check it in the card overall i didn't feel like it was a plain aosp i like it a lot camera 2 ap is enabled by default so you can install gcam no root is required. Android 12 has a gaming dashboard option with the FPS counter. Side mounter fingerprint works well and you also have phase unlock. Dual speaker works fine. Nothing to complain about. The battery backup wise it is great. I don't say it like uh, better than the MIUI, uh, best than the MIUI or uh, something. But I am normally getting 2 days of usage on a single charge. As it is Android 12, we can't exactly check the screen on time from 100 to 0. So I had to install some third party apps. I was continuously monitoring the stats and took a bunch of screenshot from that. I can say I was getting assured 9 hours of screen on time. But remember I am not gaming and all. Just video, audio and browsing with Wi-Fi plus 4G always on. I am actually happy with this part of thing. It is great and energy efficient. When it comes to charging, it took like 1 hour 15 minutes to charge 79 percentage. It is like charging from 21 percentage to 100. So if we calculate for 0 to 100, it will take like 1 and a half hours to 1, 1 hour 45 minutes, which is fine. In terms of deep sleep and battery, loss in screen off time it is like half percentage per hour so roughly every night you will lose like four to six percentage of battery juice hope that answers all your questions about charging and battery backup this build comes with encrypted storage so installing switching from this is a little bit hectic you need to take a backup of your internal storage before installing it this is important also if you are using a 6 cross 6 pattern or different ones just change it to pin or password before formatting so that next time you install the os in the frp you can unencrypt the google back it is secure and safety net passes you can use all the banking and payment apps mostly that is all i can say about good now we see some moderate and demerits of this room performance and benchmark performance wise it is normal or i would say the same as a miui but which one make it is good when it compares to MIUIs, the Android 12 and the AOSP Android 12 animations. The animation and flow is battery smooth which I like the most and uh, it asks me to use it continuously. I ran the Geekbench and uh, this is the score. It is not high when compared to MIUI but that is okay. When it comes to gaming, I don't complain much because I don't do gaming. So it, I would say the same as a stock MIUI. As we have a, a game dashboard, I'm able to see the FPS. I played BGMA like 30 minutes in balanced graphics with medium frame rate. It stayed like 25 percentage, which is playable camera and video recording there aren't many changes in terms of the camera you don't get the miui in inside the pixel experience so i have installed the gcam which works somehow fine but it crashes sometime also the front camera video won't work so i have installed the open camera which is stable and you can use it for day-to-day -day use if anyone know any stable gcam please let me know in the comment section 
Now we'll talk about some serious things. One sudden glitches. I definitely face one or two glitches here and there every day, especially when switching between apps. Sometimes when browsing in Chrome, it hangs for 22. 10 seconds it is not only in this gsa but happens in stock mua2 it is a processor issue maybe some room for improvement second phone audio i was really fine with this gsa and i thought of telling you it is the best one last week but suddenly when i receive a call and the caller unable to listen my voice i did a clear data and cache of the phone app and it is fine after that so if it happens when you receive any important calls then it will be a problem 3 ram management i don't complain about ram management nowadays in most of the custom rooms but when it comes to this gsa it is inevitable device continues losing track of apps and it is not managing it in the background when switching i was trying to make a payment in a website and i just provided a upid there and when i come to the payment to the paytm app and uh, confirm the payment and i switch back to chrome to that website it is just uh, refreshing the page and it is coming again back to the payment page which is weird but somehow i just went to the history of the website and uh, the payment uh, it just uh, confirmed that i have made a payment so no issues but that problems will be there you won't face much lag or uh, hang but when it happens, you need to restart the device. It will fix somehow. I was assumed that this is maybe because of some sort of adaptive battery thing, which is enabled by default, but I don't think so. But just informing you that there are some things for WhatsApp. Sometimes you won't receive WhatsApp message or WhatsApp call when the device is being kept idle for some minutes or hours. When you unlock the device, suddenly all the messages and missed calls show it happened one or two times i i don't find it often but that problem is there just to mention fifth one not but not least it is brightness low screen of issue which you can easily fix it by installing a magisk module i thought of making a video but i was using this device for some corporate and banking apps in my device so i don't want to lose safety net once i switched this device from a primary one i will may post a video on how to root and install brightness fix as of now i don't see it as a big problem just enable auto brightness if you accidentally reduce it till the end just restart the device uh, that's all conclusion so the conclusion is first it is stable you can use it as a daily driver so second it is encrypted i personally prefer encryption as i use some corporate security apps and banking apps so it is really comes in handy third it has all the required features bluetooth headphone works wired headphone works and all it's fine audio is also great so no complaint in terms of that speaking about the problems yes it has some of them whichever i have mentioned earlier but at the same time it won't affect much for majority of users i would say at least uh, partially so some users can't even notice it so it is your take that's what about this video hope i have answered all your queries that i have received in the installation video or some other redmi note 11 related video so if you have any other queries please let me know in the comment section right after this video i will be moving to some other OS, so we will continuously be finding the better one thank you for watching quote moto